My name is Judah and I go to this cycling club on every Saturday. Um, there's two cycling clubs, one is in, based in Fairham and the other one is moved from about Mount Batten Centre. Because it's been closed because somebody got killed on that track, um, we've now moved into this car park. The Mount Batten Velodrome is run by Parkwood Community Leisure. They closed it on the advice of an environmental health officer while an inquest into the incident there takes place. In the meantime, clubs say the training for young cyclists is being compromised. It was a good course for uh, for, for, for you know, bunch racing uh, on closed circuits and uh, also for the delivery of, of, of coaching um, well, to, to children and adults. Not, not having the velodrome has meant we've uh, struggled to uh, find a, a traffic free environment to deliver training to, uh, to the younger children. They're new to the bike um, and uh, in heavy traffic, well, it's obviously a dangerous situation for them. So uh, finding somewhere where we can uh, give the training without that hindrance is, is, is obviously uh, yeah, beneficial, so we say. So um, yeah, we, we, without the velodrome, uh, the Man Bound Centre, we've um, we've not been able to give that sort of uh, to, to the sort of standard that we would have uh, with the velodrome, obviously. Two local clubs now train in the car park of South Downs College. While they're grateful for the use of the site, they're clear it's far from ideal. The issue that we do have here is uh, this is a car park. Um, it's the uh, only available uh, training space that we have at the moment, um, while Mount Batten Centre is actually closed, um, which has been the, the best traffic-free um, asset for training children and young, young, uh, youngsters, the under-18s, that we have in the, uh, in the local area. And it's now 12 months since it's been closed. Um, uh, th this has been a compromise, while it's a, a useful compromise and Fair and Wheelers and uh, uh, Portsmouth North End Cycle Club have, uh, have done fantastic in finding somewhere here where we can have uh, traffic free training on a Saturday morning, it is a compromise. Being up on the top of Portsdown as we are here, um, pretty exposed, we've had a lot of cancellations due to frost and ice, we've had cancellations because of the wind, because of where we're at, very exposed, kids could have got blown off the bikes, they're only little fellas. Parkwood Leisure declined to be interviewed about the velodrome's closure, but they did give us this statement. Modifications will be required before the cycle track at the Mountbatten Centre is reopened. Parkwood Community Leisure and Portsmouth City Council are currently working with British Cycling to agree any modifications that may be required. It is intended to progress the works as soon as possible, and it is anticipated the track will be reopened once the required modifications have been completed. Solent News Now asked British Cycling about what was going on with the velodrome. They said, any questions regarding the facility need to be directed to the owner and the operator. We're in discussions with both parties with regards to the future of the track. Meanwhile, Portsmouth Council told us, the council owns Mountbatten Leisure Centre but doesn't operate it. The decision to close the track was made by the operator Parkwood Community Leisure and the decision to reopen it is one for Parkwood too. A senior figure at Parkwood Leisure did reveal to Solent News Now that they hope to reopen the track this summer. They said they were awaiting the coroner's inquest to move forward and couldn't give any details about what changes might be needed. Local cyclists insist that despite the accident, the logic behind the track's closure is flawed. The reason that we would like to see the velodrome open earlier than, uh, than, than is anticipated at the moment is, is purely for training. That was a racing incident um, and, and it's been looked at and, and there are people who are looking into that. Yes, yes, obviously you don't want to see children hurt, you don't want to see anyone hurt, but this is um, coaching, uh, led, coach-led racing or coaching. Um, these are qualified British cycling coaches, they, uh, they know how to race safely, they know how to ride safely and you, as you've seen, seen earlier, a lot of the stuff that they're doing is slow speed or close contact or close quarters uh, and that's really to in enhance their skills and it's not about the, the high speed that may cause that sort of an incident again. Even when changes to the track have finally been agreed, it's likely to take time to get them in place. Local cycling enthusiasts are hoping the delay won't put the brakes on young people's involvement with the sport. Charlotte Beredney, Solent News Now.